Uh, good morning, it's uh, Tiernan 033 here. I want the people of Ireland to reveal their own thoughts and express their opinions on YouTube with regard to an outrageous new form of repression and unjust taxation, the kind of known as Irish water. I'm calling the protest Let a Thousand Contracts Form after Chinese protest movement of the 1950s. An army of almost exclusively foreign laborers have been hired by Irish water meter installation contractors to enforce the mandate of the Labour Party and Blue TVs in all areas. And install these money printing machines outside every house in the land by 1916. Ironically, the 100th anniversary of the fight for Irish independence. I'm asking 1,000 Irish people who have access to a computer to make a short video of themselves burning the contract forms which they will shortly be receiving from the Irish Water Quango. It's incredibly easy to make a self video using your own computer built in camera. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash upload. Click on this. It will bring you to a new page with a blank black screen. Underneath the screen is a red button to start recording. When you're ready to begin with the Irish Water contract application in one hand and a box of matches in the other, click record. You will see yourself on the screen, introduce yourself or remain anonymous. Burn the contract form in front of the camera. Be careful, don't burn yourself. You can then stop the recording and extinguish the burning form. All you have to do is click upload and bingo your protest video is on YouTube for the world to see. You'll be asked to give a description. Please use the words Irish water tax boycott. Use the same words in the box where the descriptive tag is required. Irish water tax boycott. When somebody searches YouTube with the words Irish water meter boycott, a thousand videos will be ruined. Please make this cost-free, convenient video for your fellow countrymen, your children, and your family's sake. The Irish National Land League was an Irish organisation in the late 19th century, which was formed to help poor tenant farmers. The period of the Land League's agitation is known as the Land War. Let the spirit of Charles Stuart Parnell and Michael Dobbitt shine again through the centuries for 1916. Let the Water Tax War commence and culminate in 1916, at which time our own Gambian rulers will know the voice of the Irish people and, stand up and who will stand up against these property taxes and water taxes and alike. These taxes are levied indiscriminately on the backs of low-income families and old-age pensioners alike, so that multi-billion dollar foreign companies can thrive here on foot in a workers' low-wage austerity wasteland Cheap labourers brought in from abroad. He was a man many of these transplant uh, types of American tax dodging companies. Wealthy farmers and big landowners and former Fianna Fáil connected speculators like Jerry Dees, who borrowed millions for the banks during the great property Ponzi racket, are already organised and resisting the seizure of their farms and assets by the banks. Threats, demonstrations and boycotts are their weapons and their commonplace. Our union bosses turn politicians like Brendan Helen, only represent and fight vigorously for their own paymasters, public sector employees. They are happy to see the rest of the workforce ground into the dirt or emigrating. New scattergun scatter taxes affect these people least of all and their paymasters in the public sector. Their ordinary families now tell this government they are not carrying the burden for neither the wealthy farmers, the wealthy bankers, the wealthy speculators or the public sector unions any longer. Let a thousand water tax forms burn. This is a www.soldiersofdestiny.org YouTube production. Let them burn, folks. Get your video on YouTube today. Because look, thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Don't neglect to make your protest.